Hello, in this video we are going to take our entry field which we have put into our program which is designed as a class and we are going to bind a keystroke to it. So to do that what we're going to do is we're going to put a step here between the creation of the entry widget and the packing of the entry widget and we're going to say self.entry1 so remember because we're dealing with this as a, as a class you need to put self in front of the variable name and we're going to bind and we'll bind to this the return key. Now you can bind any key that you want, but generally speaking with, with entry widgets, it's usually return you want to bind because if you bind a letter, that means you get some funny things happening when you're typing stuff in. So we're going to bind return, and now we're going to name a function that we'll bind it to. So we're going to bind it to self.onReturn. Now we haven't written this function yet, so if we try and run this now, we're going to get an error because it doesn't actually know that function. So let's write it. So I'm going to come down here. And again, the difference between writing, making these, making these, these GUI programs as a, as a part of a class is that everything is contained in the class. So all of our functions are, have self dot, the name of the function, all of our variables are self dot. I haven't really talked about the theory about why that is. This is more just giving you patterns to follow right now. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a function inside our display class. So we have to put it below our constructor and indented. And I'm going to say def. That's how we start a function for definition. I'm going to call it on return. And you'll notice that when you complete the brackets, it actually puts the word self in. So now I'm going to hit enter a couple times. And what am I going to do here? I'm just going to print return pressed. And now let's run it and see what happens. So if I run this, there it is. And I write in these, I press enter. And I notice, let's see if anything comes up, I get an error. So what this error is saying is that, is that, well, this on return function actually passes a bunch of information. So this is, again, if you watch the other video, we need to put star args here. Star args is a wildcard, um, a wildcard that deals with parameters. So it means if anything is passed to this function, it will just manage it. Uh, it's not a huge, it's not a huge issue right now. Um, but you'll notice by putting star args there, it actually works. Sure enough, return pressed. But if you want to be a little bit more specific, we can put event because when I press return, an event is passed to this function. Um, and you can manage it. We're not going to right now. Okay, so I'm going to run this, and you'll see that in fact it will work. Return pressed. So again, let's let's just let's actually get the value and do something with it. So I'm going to say value equals equals self dot entry one dot get self.entry1.get bracket, oh not get, dot delete. Now I'm going to delete it from the zero to end. And if I run this now, I am going to say test. We've noticed it's cleared it. Actually, let's do this as well. Print value. down here fish food it is fish food and it works now I'm gonna make one little suggestion here so if you are actually working with a class setup let me zoom out a bit so you can see everything here pull in some of this white space so it's a little tighter on the screen there we go um, I'm gonna suggest actually doing this this variable value is what's called a local variable. It only exists inside this, this function, which doesn't really make a big deal to us right now. But if we come up to the top of our constructor and we declare variables here, I'm going to declare a self dot value equals, and I'm just going to treat it as an empty string. So what I can do now here is I can just say self dot value, self dot value. 
So what happens now is by doing it this way, what it means when, you, when we move forward with a little bit more advanced ideas is that this, when you access that field or that entry and you grab that information, it will be accessible in other places. By setting up this, this specific variable as a, in the constructor as a, what we call an attribute of the, of the class, it's accessible in other places. And in some later videos, we'll see how that looks. I hope that helped. Have a good day.